Okay, welcome to this segment, which is going to be on yellow peas. So uh, yellow peas, uh, interesting topic, one that we are becoming more and more well-versed with at uh, Petura Seeds. Um, so yellow peas, I'm going to get into merit functional foods a little bit in a moment, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about three varieties that we're going to be retailing this year and three varieties that we had the, the chance to see a lot of across Manitoba this past year. Um, so to start, we're going to go with uh, probably the most popular and uh, most seeded variety here in Manitoba, and that would be AAC Carver. Uh, now, in terms of overall yield potential from the many fields that I got to walk this past summer across the province, Carver was by far the highest yielding variety. Now, contrary to that, if you looked in the Manitoba Seed Guide this past year, that would actually be the place of chrome. So it was interesting to see the two, uh, take them both with a grain of salt, as you will, but that was just a, a nice difference to, to see um, the potential of Carver, even though um, you know, the, the plot trials of the seed guide show that it's actually Chrome that performed best last year. So Carver is a, um, I would say on average, a, a medium to tall plant with a relatively strong stock. Um, the, you know, the, the plant itself does not fall over in terms of, uh, you know, how it's, how it, how it performs on average. Um, the, the, the main takeaway from Carver would be that, um, even though its yield potential is quite high and it does pod a lot, um, the way that this plant reaches out, reaches over to its neighboring rows, uh, makes for a very well standing plant perhaps more so than other varieties. So even though it's big and there's lots of pods and really heavy, it stands quite well. And um, yeah, so that's Carver in a nutshell, um, medium to large seed size. Moving over into Chrome, uh, this has been its third year of commercial uh, sales here in Manitoba. Um, the plant itself is a little bit shorter than Carver. Um, yield potential would probably be pegged as right around the same as Carver. Now, the big takeaway from Chrome that I saw this past summer was that where the pods set on the stem or on the vine would be higher off the ground than that of Carver. And what that means to me is when the pods set higher, that makes for easier harvestability, you know, getting that, that knife underneath the, the pods instead of scraping the ground can be that much easier with Chrome. Um, but again, saw lots of great yields in the, in the 70s and 80s um, this year. So yeah, great variety, new, um, you know, disease package would probably be the newest uh, out of most of the varieties in, that are grown here in Manitoba. And seed size uh, is again, a medium to large size. Now, lastly, moving into profit, this is the newest of the three, and this is going to be its first year of commercial sales. Um, this is AAC Profit. So yield potential proved to be very great uh, over its upbringing through the, the pedigree process at Paturas. This past year, the two fields we had averaged between 70 and 75 bushels to the acre. Um, this plant can be characterized as probably a little bit more viney than Carver and Chrome. Um, now, depending on conditions, that can be a good or a bad thing. Um, I would say that uh, we had a split of the two from our two seed production fields this past year. Um, you know, yielding very well, performing just as good as Carver and Chrome, uh, but perhaps maybe a slightly weaker stem. But again, it's hard to say after just, you know, the couple of years we've seen it. Um, now, the, the biggest and most promising thing about this variety we did see this year was the size of its seed. Extremely large seed size on profit. And... That uh, can mean many things and in the world of seed and in the world of emergence and early season vigor and overall yield potential, that big seed can really help that uh, potential. So um, when looking at varieties, you got your Carver, your Chrome and your Profit, all three of them are going to be accepted uh, exclusively at Merit Functional Foods for their P contracts. So I will get into that right away and we'll talk to you then. <laughs> 